Hi friends, in this video I want to show you how to create navigation menu inside Bricks Builder. There are two ways to create navigation menu inside Bricks Builder. In element panel, type here nav or navigation menu, you will see two elements, nav nestable and nav menu. In this video we will create navigation menu with nav nestable which allows us to create navigation menu directly inside Bricks Editor. In the next video, we will create a navigation menu with the help of Nav Menu. It is the older way and this one, Nav Nestable, is a new and better way. If you will add navigation menu to a structure panel, you will see on the canvas, it will create a dummy navigation menu for you. For starting purpose, it is very good. Its name suggests Nav Nestable. It is not a single element. You can see different element is nested inside it. You will say it is very confusing. To make it easy for you, first look here. You can see this is our header and this is our navigation menu inside it. Bricks wrap our navigation menu into two containers. First container will Nav Semantic HTML tag and second container will UL HTML tag. UL mean unordered list and these are the list items. These two are links and this one is a drop down. Bricks also add two toggle elements, one for opening mobile menu, second for closing mobile menu. After understanding this, now look at the Bricks structure panel. This is our first container and its HTML tag is set to nav. Aria label is set to menu for accessibility purpose. For screen reader, it will say it is a menu. This is our second container. Its HTML tag is set to UL. UL mean unordered list. These are the list items. Second container direction is set to horizontal. Therefore, these items are aligned horizontally. Here you can see two nav links and one drop down. Home and about are nav link and this is a drop down. And these two are toggle elements. One for opening mobile menu and one for closing mobile menu. Inside drop down, you will see there is a one more container, which is this one. And inside container, you will see two more nav links. You can see here. After understanding the structure, let's create our navigation menu. Create our navigation menu. Click on nav link. This element is basically a text link element, which is added inside navigation menu. And its level is changed to nav link because it is inside navigation menu. To create a navigation menu, we will need to change the text of this nav link element. The element I am typing here costume to link this text with the costume page. Now you can see its text is changed to costumes. Here you will see a link option. By default, it is set to dummy link. Therefore, Rex has added a hash here. You can change it to link to internal posts or pages from here. You can select the dynamic data, media, or you can link it to a light box, image, etc. Let's change its link to costume page. So now somebody will click on this link, it will open costume page. These options are related to accessibility. You can put rel attribute here if you want. Rel attribute is basically to describe the relationship of the current page and the page that will open after clicking on this link. ARIA label is used for screen reader. So for screen reader, it will say it is a costume. You can also type here link to costume etc. Attribute title. You will type here anything it will show on a tooltip. Let me show. So now you can see when I hover on it, it show Tooltip Batman Costume. Mostly we don't need a tooltip in navigation menu in this type of header, so I am removing it. You can also set open links in new tab in theme style, so we don't need to change it from here. Icons to add icons here with these text. Let me show. You can choose icon from here. You can select any icon to add it to your navigation menu. You can see here our icon is added. I will create a separate video on this later in the course. So we have created just the first link. I will also suggest copy this link text, paste it in the structure label. 
this text and this text are same so later you will easily understand from structure menu what are these links and drop down in new link i am changing it to tattoo this time i am leaving it as a dummy link you can link it to any page a drop down i'm changing a text to movies also change it here and you can see a drop down text is changed to movies mostly we don't link a drop down text to any page so i will suggest to select external url and put hash here to change the text of these links can expand the drop down select the link change it from here as we did for these two new links i will put here batman begins copy the text and paste it in the label also do it for this link copy it and paste it here now you can see we have created our own navigation menu from the bricks dummy navigation menu in bricks new nestable element you will see two links and one drop down you want to add one more link there are two methods you can duplicate the existing link like this and change the text and link from here or click on the plus icon and type here text link you can see here a text link you can add the text link here change its text you want to add a drop down it is also available in elements panel and type here drop down you can drag it your structure panel to create another drop down now you can see we have created this beautiful navigation menu now let's check the design option for designing click on new nestable and you will see here the first option is to design the top level item so you can increase the gap from here alignment option and padding between those items background color you want to change the background color in normal mode or hover mode is a border option typography we change it upper case we change fonts to puppin now you can see it's looking good you can also change font weight if you want and here is a transform option if you need it and for transform you can say transition option also let me show on hover state i want on hover a text become a little bigger and also skew it and you can type here transition duration etc now let me show how it will look like normal mode is like this but when i hover on it you can see its size is increasing and also bend to right side and here you will see option for active states change the background color adding border and change the typography in active state i will change the typography color of active state to pink color so if it will active it will be pink color you will say nothing is happened because you have not open any page here so you can't see the active color to show you the active color me go to setting template setting populate content in content type you can select the costume page to preview here So you can see active color of costume link is changed to pink color as we have set here because we have set the preview page to costume page drop down when you will click on drop down tab you will see a drop down is open here you can see bricks has written this if you want to change this icon you will need to go to each drop down individually and set icon from here now let's go back to drop down setting here you can see icon padding option and gap to add gap between text and this icon icon position you can change icon position from right to left now you can see position of icon is changed icon color you want to change color of this icon icon transform it is useful option for example you want to rotate this icon and the drop down is open 
so you can change it from here icon transform open you can rotate it 180 degree now you can see when the drop down will open icon direction will be upside if the drop down will close icon direction will be downside so you can do it from here you can also set transition from here okay content first option is set away for this drop down box background color can change its background color from here if you want to change the background color of this drop down box like this picture so you can do it from here you can add border to make it rounded like this you can add shadow from here so you can see i have added a little shadow typography option transform and transform open you can change the position of this box from here let me show I want when this drop down box open it should be aligned with this border. So to do this, you can change translate Y. You can see our drop down is now aligned with this border. So you, here you can set option for close drop down to create a little transition. Let me show. You can put here a transition. Now let's check it. You can see when I hover on it, drop down start from here and stop here. So you can create this kind of effect. You can play with other options like skew, scale, etc. Here, item padding you can add padding and change background color from here, add border, typography, and transition. You can change it from here for normal mood. I am changing the typography color on hover state to pink color as we did our top level menu so in normal mode it will black color but on hover it will be pink color you can also add border between these items if you want from here if you want to add left and right padding for these links you can add from here now you can see our text has moved a little right side I will suggest don't add padding here. Go to structure panel and expand the drop down element. Click on this wrapper, which is this box. You can apply padding on this, it will be better. So you can also set top and bottom padding from here. Basically, this wrapper is for this box. And inside this, you can see these links. This was drop down options here's one more option multi level drop down you want to create a drop down inside another drop down so you can enable this option we will cover this in the next video last option is mobile menu so you can set the design of mobile menu from here first you can select from here on which breakpoints mobile menu appear I am selecting mobile landscape so when you will go to mobile landscape our mobile menu will appear here is the option keep mobile menu open while styling enable this option so it will open our mobile menu you can easily design it you can set its width and height from here if you don't want full screen mobile menu like this and this align item you can change left right and center alignment from here justify content you can change top bottom and center alignment from here here is a position option you can change the position of this menu up down and left and right we show so you can set position of your menu up and down and left and right from here you want your header also look on mobile when the menu open so you can change the top position from here you can change the background color from here if you want to change icon of this close button you can select toggle element of closing mobile menu and change the icon from here you can select cross icon from here and you can change its size you can add aria label Type here close menu so it will say to a screen reader it is a closing menu button and below here is option about a toggle in this mobile menu in which desktop navigation menu and mobile menu is same you don't need these options 
If you are creating separate off canvas menu for mobile, this option will be useful for them. We will play with these options and we will create off canvas menu. In the structure panel, the toggle element for opening mobile menu. This is not icon, it is made from HTML element for speed and performance. That's why you can add animation from here. For example, in the mobile menu will open how it will look like. I want to change it to close. So let me show here. When I will click on this, you can see our menu icon is changed to close. You can also set the other animation from here. You can change it from here to arrow. Now you can see it's become left arrow. You can choose any animation from here. Aria label is set to open which is good for accessibility purpose. Toggle option not necessary in this menu. Bar option as I told earlier these three lines are made from HTML elements. It is not icon so you can change the radius, height, scale, its color etc from here. And one last thing. Your mobile menu is not full screen like this one. You can close and open mobile menu from one icon. So you can delete this icon from structure panel. From here, close mobile menu, which is this one. So you can delete it from here. Now you can see our icon has gone. We can open it and close it from one icon. You want a full screen menu not like this one in which header is also showing then don't delete toggle element for closing mobile element which is this one also remove the top position which we have added for this menu so it will become a full screen menu in full screen menu this icon position is not good you want to position it here select this element go to style tab and change its position from static to absolute. Also change the top and right value. Now you can see our close icon is on right position. Now let's check it. You can see our menu become full screen and here is a close button. I hope you have learned something new today. See you in the next video.